Now, the challenge here is no one individual is going to represent 100% of the characteristics of every end user, but that doesn't mean it's, it's not worth us trying to do that. It is worth us trying to do that. As you go forward, you will find someone who matches the end user profile quite well. That's, that's the riddle. That's what you have to solve. And the benefit of doing this is once you have that specific person, you will then get your product development and every for your processes focused on this individual rather than a more abstract general end user profile. So how do you choose your persona? Well, this is a very important question and, and one that I think you have to kind of wander around to, to determine. But first of all, you have to answer the question, if I had only one end user to represent the end user profile, who would it be? We're going to take the primary market research we have with all our customers so far, as well as the end user profile, and discuss the strengths and weaknesses of making any customer the persona. And then once we find the one that we think is the best, we're going to prepare a fact sheet based on all the information we have, and then we're going to dive deeper and find out more information about our persona. By the way, we're going to double check this later on, so don't feel like you have to get this absolutely right. Make the best stab you can. The important part of the persona I've found is to make it visual. Get a picture of that person. Draw that person. I, I, it's hard for me to explain exactly why, but people like and they're more involved if there's a picture. Um, that might feel like an invasion of someone's privacy and it's not something you want to put on your website, but it does help. Um, as well as a, as, a, as a visual, include information about the persona's home life. What kind of car do they drive? Where were they born? Where are they in the family that, that they were? Do they have a family? What's their education? What, you know, what kind of clothes do they wear? What kind of perfume? What's the person's job? You know, what kind of, you know, what kind of career path have they had? What kind of money do they make? You know, what's their performance metrics? You know, what motivates them more than anything else in the world? What do they fear mo more than anything else in the world? That's very, very important. Having a priority with our, cusp our pr persona of what's the single most important thing to them, which probably is the thing they fear most in the world, and secondly, what is the thing that motivates them most in the world? Extremely important. Finally, we'll en interview the end user who is our persona and fill in the gaps of everything we know. We want to know, very importantly, where their watering holes are. Where do they congregate with other people like themselves? And then, again, going back to making it visual, we need to make it visual not just in the picture. We're going to post it on the wall so that it's there all the time so people don't forget this very real person. So the persona is more than just an exercise. The persona is a touch point from all the decisions basically we have going forward in the company. I have my office a sign that says, keep the main thing the main thing. The persona is the main thing. And if we're doing something that doesn't make the persona happy, um, I ask, why are we doing that? The, the decision, once we have the persona, it will tell us what features to prioritize or drop. How should we allocate our resources? Who should we hire? To, to sell the product? Who should, who should we hire to fix the product and service the product? What should our message be? Who should we partner with? Where do we go to meet our customers? Where are their watering holes? Who's influencing them? The persona is not a one-time exercise, but it's, it's an ongoing, uh, ongoing person that is visible to all members of our community, and it should be our North Star, our guiding light going forward. So that's the persona. It's a fun exercise, it's a unifying exercise, and it's a very important exercise as we go forward.